Hello, Ninja Nation. Welcome back to my channel. Today, guys, we are going to talk about the box office a bit more because this needs to be way really interesting to talk about because, but I love checking how much money movies make. But yeah, but today, guys, in this video, we're going to be checking out the box office today, guys. So, yeah. Wait. Okay. Um. Hope you guys are excited uh, as I am. Because we got a lot of vids that just came out. Wait. Because we officially have uh, a lot to talk about. So, if you guys don't know, guys, this weekend, uh, last weekend, uh, the Barbie movie and Oppenheimer just came out, so it's a good idea for me to give you guys updates of what's going on with the box office right now because all of these movies right now on the list right now is movies that are still kind of good at theaters, but one of these films are done at theaters, but we're going to talk about them, okay? We're going to talk about all of them, we're going to talk about them intravisory. Means I'm gonna be picking one. I'm gonna talk about each one in this video. I might go all out of order, but yeah. So, yeah, guys. Unless I can stop doing that. So yeah, guys. Hope you guys are excited for this video. If you guys are, hit that like button down below. Let's try to hit this video to five likes if we can do that. That would be amazing. That would really, really, really help this video go up a bit higher in the future. So please, guys, make sure you guys go down below. Hit that like button down below if you guys do enjoy it. Also, if this is your first time here, then click that subscribe button down below. I want to let you guys know we just passed 200. We just passed 2,300 subscribers on this channel. It's amazing to hear that we just passed that number. It's amazing. I just thought we're never gonna be. I just thought. I just thought we're never gonna hit that number. Again. I just thought, but we did. Let me look to. Let me look to show you. Yeah, we literally did. We literally just did. Uh, and yeah, oh my SpongeBob videos right now at fifty behind fifty. So yeah. Now guys, I will let you guys know, I haven't uploaded on this channel since like two weeks ago or something like that. I know guys, I've been busy on my channel lately trying to get a lot more videos off for you guys. But yeah guys, but I just want to let you guys know that yes, I've been busy. But please guys, click that subscribe button down below. Help me get this channel to 2,500 subscribers. That's my milestone for this channel is 2,500 subscribers. So if you guys can help me out, that would be amazing. So yeah. Also hit that notification bell to never miss when I upload a video. Also share this video with your friends and the family. And make sure you guys go down below, go subscribe to my two other channels. Link is in the description down below. So today guys, let's talk about all of these box office. Let's talk about the box office and yeah. Start it up with the very first one. Um, let me go back here. Okay, there we go. Um, start it up with the very first one. We have uh, the Super Mario Bros. movie, which right now has a shocking number that just happened today. It has like I will tell you guys, it has a shocking number. The Super Mario Bros. movie made. Okay. The Super Mario Bros. movie made one billion three hundred fifty-five million dollars. Can we just sit down? Can we just sit? Can we just, sir? Wait. But can we kind of just talk about this for just a moment, okay? The Super Mario Bros. movie is still doing amazing right now. Like, the last time I checked, we just... 
the last time I checked, it made like an extra eight million dollars or something like that. It's like the Super Mario Bros. movie has been out for three months or more, and it's still making money. Well, yeah, but guess this, guys. The Super Mario Bros. movie just made it to the to, to the top 15 highest grossest movies ever made. Yeah, it's the number 15 spot of the highest grossest movie ever. The 15th one. I can't believe how this movie make it to the top 15. I can't believe how. Oh why? What? But the Super Mario Bros. movie is a curse. It is an amazing movie. In my opinion, it's a perfect movie to watch with your family. And for me, I loved, I love Chris Pine in that movie. I love Anna Taylor Joy. I love Charlie Day. I love Ch- Jack, Jack Black. But at the same time, I'm really, really, really happy that we don't got here. But yeah, but yeah, but I really like that. But yeah, I'm really happy. Of what they kind of did with the Super Mario Bros. movie. Again, again, this milestone, I was predicted that the Super Mario Bros. movie would make only $1,350,000,000. And then it made, it made an extra $4 million. It made an extra $5 million from that. Congratulations, Mario. You do amazing. You did amazing at the box office. Amazing. Box Office Mojo is not going to update that. I'm just like, I'm like, why can't it to do it? Like, like why can't it, like, what, that is okay. Let's work at the Box Office Mojo, shall we? See, the Philly hasn't really updated yet. They haven't even really updated the hotel box office yet on uh, Box Office Mojo. But I just follow everything that was on Wikipedia. I just woke up everything that's on Wikipedia, but Wikipedia said $1,355,000,000. Which, in my prediction, is that where the Mario movie can stand? Well, unless there was some... Uh, extra numbers, it would probably pass 1.36 million, but at the same time, it's not 1.36 billion, but it's not going to do that. It's going to be stuck at 1 billion, 355 million dollars. It would probably go up a bit more, but yeah. But with the Super Mario Bros. movie, good, like, it, it has, like, good, uh, it's exciting, uh, and it's really excited to hear that the Mario movie is doing amazing, so yeah. Now let's move, I will go back to the Mario movie in just a minute, but let me, let's go, let's go out of order for just a moment, and let's, and then let's go, okay, let's go with now, uh, let's go for one of the newest movies now, let's talk about, let's talk about the new Bobby movie, oh, do you want to talk about Bobby or Oppenheimer? Let's talk about Oppenheimer. So Oppenheimer on its first weekend from the United States in the Philly. When I see right here Oppenheimer at Box Office Mojo. Wait. That that's not actually right. Just like guys, I need to check out Wikipedia because Just a second. Okay, right now what I see on uh, Wikipedia right now, I see it right now at one million ninety-two one hundred and ninety-two million I mean a hundred and ninety-two point eight million dollars. Wait, when I say that Wikipedia it did say like two hundred and nine million, but yeah. With Oppenheimer, I have put some amazing things about Oppenheimer. Too bad I can't watch it because it's 
rated R, and, I, and my fam- and my parents doesn't allow me to watch rated R movies yet. That's why I can't watch movies like Deadpool, Deadpool 2, Logan, and all these other movies. But Oppenheimer is doing pretty good right now. If it keeps on going throughout the next few weeks, my prediction, my prediction is Oppenheimer can make like around 300, million, 300 to 400 million dollars. And of course, it's Christopher Nolan's uh, recent film uh, that just released uh, this weekend. It's amazing to see what they do with Oppenheimer. It has Cohen Murphy, Murray, Co- Co- it has the actor who plays Scarecrow in the Dark Knight trilogy, which of course was directed by Christopher Nolan. So pretty much the actor, the main actor in here, Cohen Murphy, Cohen Murphy, Cohen Murphy, he's in here. So yeah, we got Cohen, we got Cohen and Murphy, Emily Blunt, Matt Damon, Robert Downey Jr., Flora Pugh. I'm gonna say the five first actors in here are amazing. I haven't seen Oppenheimer yet. I'm probably not gonna see it until like I'm over 30 years old or something like that. But I have heard a lot of people say that Robert Downey Jr. is very good at this movie, in Oppenheimer. I've been hearing some people say that Emily Blunt did a good job. Verona Pugh did a good job. Matt Damon did a good job. Which I think, if I remember, I think Christopher Nolan did a film with Matt Damon. I don't really know, but yeah. But Oppenheimer, I just want to let you know, you guys know, I want to let you guys know that uh, Oppenheimer made a lot, made, I'm going to say 193 million, 193 million, because you can count this count up, but I just want to remind you guys that Oppenheimer is at 192.8 million dollars. A good start. So yeah. And let us head back to an older film. Let's talk, and now let's talk about a film that released last month in uh, June. Let's talk about, let's talk about Transformers Rise of the Beast, shall we? Now, the time we recorded this video, Transformers Rise of the Beast just got on digital. So if you just got on Paramount Plus. So if you really want to watch it for free, you guys could do it right now. It's on Paramount Plus. You guys could watch it right now. And yeah, I've heard some good things about this new Transformers movies. This new Transformers movie, and I have heard some of people that didn't really like it, but yeah. But Transformers Rise of the Beast, pretty much all together, after the box office is done, it made 427 million, it made 427.2 million dollars. And now with this film being a digital in our Paramount Plus, I don't think this movie is going to make a lot more money at the box office. It's going to be stuck around 400. I did thought it could pass half a billion dollars, I like five hundred dollars. Five hundred million dollars. Well my prediction is for the whole time box office to be over with, I don't for the Transformers Rise Transformers uh, Rise of the Beasts Beasts will be a DVD until I think it was September, right? I think the DVD is supposed to be coming out in uh, Oh, is it not? I think the DVD was supposed to be coming out in October. I think... I don't remember, but... I don't remember, but Transformers Rise of the Beast is at $427.2 million. I think it might pass over $430 million, but... When we pass five... When we make it to $450 million, I have no idea, because i only seen the first three live action Transformers movies. I haven't seen the... Age of Age of Extinction, uh, the last night, uh, the last night, Bubba B, and I haven't seen Rise of the Beast yet. And I went, I know, I know, I know. These two films are supposed to be prequels. So Rise of the Beast uh, is a prequel to the first Transformers. So pretty much, I don't really know, but yeah. But that's what I want to talk about for Transformers: Rise of the Beast. 
not bad. It, it's not like uh, too bad to talk about right now, but at the same time, Rise of the Beast is right now in a typical, is in a difficult situation right now. And we have heard that there is a Beast Wars sequel coming out in development. I have heard there's a new Transformers movie called Transformers 1. Called Transformers 1. It's going gonna, gonna to be a prequel live on. It'll be a prequel animated movie. Uh, Chris Hemsworth is going to be playing as Optimus Prime. Which I'm like, why would you get Chris Hemsworth to Optimus Prime? I'm like, I don't really know. It could be good. I don't really know. But yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's all I want to talk about with Transformers today, is of course that, just want to remind you guys that Transformers Rise of the Beast is at uh, $427.2 million. So, yeah. And then, we, and then the next film we're going to talk about, let's head to Guardians, let's head to Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Because if you guys don't know, guys, uh, the, time we, the, time we, the time I recorded this... Uh, yeah, to tell we record this video, Gardner's 3 just got a uh, digital three weeks ago. I think it was like Ju- July 7th, which was today. Okay, today that was uh, I think 18 days ago when uh, it got a uh, digital. I don't really know, but yeah, but I want to let you guys know that uh, uh, God was the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Volume Three. Yeah, Guardians Three will be on. You can buy it physically. It will be on physical. It will be a DVD, Blu-ray, an Ultra HD, Blu-ray on August first. So next Tuesday. So next Tuesday, today is July twenty fifth. Next Tuesday, you'll be able to pick up Gardeners 3 on 4K, Blu-ray, and DVD. It's been nice because uh, that 4K uh, of Gardeners 3 works amazing. Like, it works amazing. Let me show you guys. I'm going to go on Amazon. I'm gonna go inside my savings. Look how cool that 4K, look at how cool that looks like. Yeah, it'll be released on uh, it'll be released on August 1st, 2023. Which, if you look at the character, that's literally next Tuesday. So if you're excited to get your hands on God of the Galaxy Fire Your 3 on physical. Well, you can buy a physical on August 1st. So, that's amazing. So, yeah. But that's not all. Because the next day, on August 2nd, Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy Power Cube 3 will be on Disney+. Plus. So, you can buy a digital right now. You can pick these two. You can buy a physical on August 1st. Or you want to wait till you get the physical and watch it on Disney+, Plus on the 2nd. I don't really know, but this is going to be exciting for a lot of people and all the stuff. But Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is at $844.8 million. So my question is, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is not going to pass Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, which is right now at $863 million dollars right now. There's no way for Guardians 3 to pass that. It has to make another extra, it has to make an extra 18, I want an extra 18, over 18 million dollars left. With it be on digital right now, and with it going to be on DVD, Blu-ray, Blu-ray, and 4K, and on Disney Plus, that kind of actually means that probably by this week, the end of this week is probably going to be the last weekend of Guardians 3, and then you can buy it on physical and on Disney Plus. So, yeah, if it does pretty good on its uh, at this weekend, at this final weekend, 
it's not going to pass God with two. And it's not going to make, and it's not going to pass a uh, half of, and it's not going to pass $850 million. I'm sorry, but it's not going to happen. But it's good, it did, but it's good it did pass Wakanda forever, but, yeah, but, that will be it for God was 3. I'm really excited to see this film on Disney Plus again. On uh, Disney Plus. I'm really excited to see this movie again. Uh, I love the movie. God was 3 is my number 3. Now my number 3 favorite MCU film ever. I just love God was 3. So yeah. But that way, let's talk about the Barbie movie, okay? Now, I'm going to get the Barbie movie for last because that was a bit interesting. Let's head to Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 2 on its second weekend. So on its second weekend altogether, the movie made $370.9 million. Now, my question is... Give me a sec. Um, so my question is, if God... If this film gets more money, do I think that God was three? Do I think that Mission Impossible Seven will make a lot of money at the box office? Um, absolutely. I think absolutely it will make a lot of money. But my question is. How much will it make all together? Again, I have never seen a Mission Impossible movie my whole life. The only Tom Cruise movie I have seen was Top Gun and Top Gun Maverick. I haven't really seen the Mission Impossible series. I can watch it on Paramount Plus right now because they're on Paramount Plus, but I don't really know. But yeah. But Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 is at $370.9 million. I think it will pass over 400 I think 100% it absolutely going to pass over 400 million. I think 100% it will absolutely pass over 400 million dollars by the end of this week. That's what I think. Again, that's what I think. See so ya. Yeah. What does it actually say in uh, Box Office Mojo? Okay, Box Office Mojo is saying, so pretty much right now, Dead Reckoning is right now at $373 million right now. I don't think Wikipedia did fix their video yet, but, but right now, when I see it right now, it made $373, over $373 million. So pretty much, you can pretty much say that, but yeah. But Dead Reckoning Part 1 made over that amount of money. I'm maybe going to say it could possibly pass the $600 million mark. If it does very really good, and it makes it all the way to $500 million, if the movie makes... Um, that... $500 minus that... If it makes them an extra $127 million on its third weekend, it will absolutely pass over $500 million on its third weekend. But here's the problem. We got the Barbie movie and we got Oppenheimer out, which people say that those are the best movies ever. You have to remember that Hunted Mansion comes out this month as well. This year as well. Which, yeah, Hunted Mansion comes out this Friday. So... Yeah, so I would let you guys know that, uh, yeah, Dead Reckoning Part 1, I think it might pass over $500 million. And it would make it itself. My prediction is, I think Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 could indeed pass the little moment. And it makes it at the number 5 spot. But it might be at the number six spot. I don't really know. But yeah, but Dead Reckoning Part 1, Dead Reckoning Part 1 has a potential to make a lot of money. So just say, but yeah. So yeah. 
And then you head to, so yeah. So that would be it for Mission Impossible 7 Part 1. But now let's head to, now let's head back to May. And let's talk about the Little Mermaid, okay? Let's talk about the Little Mermaid now, okay? So, no, 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 no. I, I don't mean that. I'm sorry. I mean, uh, let's head to a June movie now. Okay. Let's talk about The Flash. Yeah, um... The Flash is pretty much done in theaters right now. Pretty much The Flash is done in theaters. It's not making money. Look at how much money The Flash made. The Flash made only $267.9 million. Yeah, um... The Flash is doomed. The Flash could not even make over $300 million. And we have to hear a report that's going around saying that if the Flash movie did make around $700 to $800 million, which right now, right now, it didn't, there would be a third Michael Keaton movie with Tim Burton and Danny Elfman coming back to do the music. But guess what? That might not be happening. Now, if uh, Michael Keaton does come back in some part, someone would say that yes, he would be coming back to the DCU. What if James Gunn made Michael Keaton as a... Uh, what if uh, James Gunn makes Michael Keaton the, M the DCU Batman? <gasps> that would be amazing because Michael Keaton... I know Michael Keaton is over 70 years old, but at the same time, they'll make it like a storyline. They make it like a storyline that has like an adult version of Batman. Maybe, and Michael Keaton is an amazing actor, so bring him back. So yeah. I have heard some people say George Quinley. George Quinley. I can't pronounce his last name, but I hope you hear that George might be coming back. Uh, that might be possible. I don't really know, but yeah, but that's a possibility. But for right now, we don't have any information right now that confirms that Michael Keaton will be coming back at some point. He might make cameos in the, the DCU, but if we do get a proper Batman 3 with uh, Michael Keaton directed by Tim Burton, directed by Tim Burton, and the music comes and then they bring back Danny Elfman as the music composer. Which, if I look it up, uh, Batman 1989. Me. You can see right here, guys. Music by Danny Elfman. Directed by Tim Burton. Sims Hem could come back to do the script. Yeah, Sam Hem could do get back to doing the screenplay. Story by they could bring back John Peters as the as the producer. Oh my gosh. And Peter Goober. So if Peter could come back and John Peters could come back uh, to do the producers of the film, that would be pretty cool. I don't really know, but yeah, but my, but yeah. But the again, if the Flash was successful, they would be doing a Batman 3 film uh, that takes place that would be the sequel to the Flash, but actually it would not happen. Now, we still have hope that Michael Keaton can get his very last third film to complete his trilogy. It will be releasing like years later, maybe like, uh, they can do it like uh, DC Elseworlds. You have to remember that uh, James Gunn did say uh, that the Batman will still be going, uh, and that Batman uh, is not going to be the DCU Batman. Uh, so pretty much, uh, the Batman uh, Part 2 is still 
going to be coming out, but that does not take place in the DCU, that takes place Elseworld. Now, pretty much, if they continue on uh, doing Elseworlds, we can actually get a Michael Keaton Batman 3. Take a place like, take a place like, oh, take a place like 30 to 40 years after, 30 to 40 years after, uh, uh, no, like pretty much take, I don't know how much, I think I'm going to say like over like, take a place like 30 years, over like 30 to 35 years later, 35 years after Batman Returns, probably, I don't really know, but yeah, but that's the Flash, I'm, I haven't seen the Flash yet, so yeah, but the Flash is right now at 267.9 million dollars. There's no way that movie is going to make more money. There's no way. And with it being on digital right now, and with it probably going to be on box, probably by next month, or September, something like that, I have heard the DVD will be coming in September. I have heard that for a fact. But yeah, but for right now, we don't have any information right now. So yeah, that'll be it for The Flash. Let's head to The Little Mermaid, shall we? Let's head to the live action Little Mermaid, which is doing pretty good right now. Right now at 560, right now, the Little Mermaid is right now at $560.6 million. Disney is on a roll right now. And if Disney keeps on making movies just like the Little Mermaid, like Pixar, Disney Animation, live action Disney movies, if they can do the same thing that they did with the live action Little Mermaid, People would surely come back to Disney, and maybe, just maybe, if the Little Mermaid does a bit more in the box office, it maybe might pass $600 million. I don't really know. But we have heard that it will be a digital. I think it's actually a digital right now. I think I'm going to watch it right now, right? Let me go on private video. Yeah, the Little Mermaid is available to buy right now. So you can pretty much buy the Little Mermaid right now on digital. And we have, and we have heard that the physical release of this movie will be in September. So maybe I have been hearing as well that next month in August it will be available on Disney+. Plus. But for right now, but yeah. But it's amazing to see... That the Little Mermaid is right now. It's amazing to see that the, that the Little Mermaid is at $560.6 million. Now, a lot of you have been asking me, Hey Ninja, why is Fast X not on here? Well, Fast X, you pretty much know what that film made. Uh, the last time I checked, it made over $705 million. And uh, it didn't continue on. I think Fast yeah, Fast X is pretty much done in theaters right now. And it's on digital right now. It's been on digital since last month. Uh, if I remember clearly, it's been on digital. And I think the physical version comes out at the beginning of next year. Let me go to Prime Video. Fast X DVD. This DVD will be coming out on August 8th. Same thing with the 4K. August 18th, August 8th. Same thing with the Blu-ray. August 8th. So pretty much, everybody say, oh, it's still going to make a lot of money. Um, guys, Fast X has it went up in two weeks. Has it go up for two weeks. It has been the same ever since. Fast X is pretty much done in theaters. That movie ended up with $705 million. Which, in general, not bad for a box office movie. Not bad for a Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious. Not bad, but yeah. Yeah, pretty much that number, but it's still number three at the box office right now, but if you go here, 
go here. You come down here. Pretty, no, I mean, I like guys. I mean, seven hundred eighteen point six million dollars. There's no way that it will come out. There's no way. There's no way. But look at the fast, the fast. I think it was fast five, right? No, it was fast six. Fast X is at seven hundred eighty-eight point seven million dollars, but it didn't pass the Fast and Furious Six. How about Fade? No, no, no. How about? Um. Um, look at Hobbs and Shaw, the uh, spin-off uh, Dwayne Johnson character. That film is at $716.7 million. You got Fast 6. And you got Fast 10. There's no way. Now, wait, did it actually pass Fast did it actually pass Fast 9? No. So, pretty much, uh, yeah, Fast 10 cannot even be Fast F9, uh, the Fast the fast Saga, right? Um. It can't even pass... Fast Nine, the, the Fast Saga, it couldn't even pass that. And yeah, I'm just saying that Fast and Furious, sub, Fast and Fast Ten didn't make a lot of money, but yeah. But look at the Little Mermaid, the Little Mermaid did a great job, uh, I'm going to say. And if it be right now on digital, it would be on digital, it would be on DVD, Blu-ray, and Ultra HD, Blu-ray, in uh, 4K Blu-ray, whatever your character, in uh, September, then there might be possibility that maybe this film could still go up a bit more in the box office. But, 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 so yeah. So that would be it for the little moment. Let's talk about uh, Indiana Jones and the Diary of Destiny, because that's a film that I really want us to really talk about. So yeah. So, Indiana Jones and the Diary of Destiny, I think this is probably its fifth weekend, right? Or sixth? No, this is its fifth weekend. And Indiana Jones of the Dire Destiny already made... Already made $335.9 million. Which I think Indiana Jones and the Dire of Destiny makes it as like the... Not the highest grossest movie on Disney, but... On the internet, but at the same time, it was close. But yeah, but at the same time, but at the same time, I'm just saying that, of course, uh, any other choice of the Diary of Destiny is pretty much doomed. Now, if it's possible for this movie to make a lot more money at the box office in the future, I have no idea. I don't really know. Because the film... Uh, Recently, right now, if you think about it right now, Indiana Jones and the Diary of Destiny already made nine hundred. Already made. If you go to the first week, the full week, uh, number six goes to Indiana Jones and the Diary of Destiny. With. Uh, um. Cargo with over um. Do you know how you really say it? Let me go here. It made over uh, close to seven. 
It may almost cost six hundred uh, six million six hundred eighty million dollars. And Indiana Jones and Die of Destiny just been out for four weeks already. And we have no idea what it's gonna be on digital. Some people said that it absolutely will be on digital next month in August. Probably on Disney Plus in September. I think it's gonna probably be on Disney Plus and Paramount Plus uh, in September. And then at the end of September, we're gonna to expect the DVD, Blu ray, 4K Ultra HD, 4K Ultra HD, Blu ray, Blu ray. And we're gonna probably get a 4K Ultra HD 5 movie collection as well as DVD and Blu ray. But yeah. But Indiana Jones of the Die of Destiny, if it doesn't pass four, if it doesn't pass four hundred million dollars, that film is doomed. That film is a bomb. That's that's a big bomb movie of 2023. And yeah. And for me, I think Indiana Jones and the Die of Destiny was a good movie. Like Die of Destiny, in my opinion, was a good movie. I do enjoy the Excuse me, but I do enjoy Indiana Jones and the Die of Destiny. But what it is, it's a good movie. It has a good ending to it. But I just want more with But I wish that... I wish we did have another film with Harrison Ford to officially end up his old trilogy. You have his first three movies. You have the first three movies of Indiana Jones which is like his young age, like in his 30s. And you have Indiana Jones 4 and 5, which is like his 50s slash 70 age. If Indiana Jones feel like, oh my goodness, I was about to retire. Let's do this again. And that's when Indiana Jones 6 might happen. Now, some people say that maybe Indiana Jones 6 could be about Mutt Williams with Sean LeBop. But we have heard that Mutt died uh, in the fifth one because, and yeah, I don't really know. Maybe they can make the sixth one uh, a spin up, which is the spin up Indiana Jones film of the county, county adventures of Mutt Williams. And this takes place before Die of Destiny. And this would be the fifth Indiana Jones film. But you might have an actor who. Uh, Works like Indiana Jones, sounds like him. Like, if you have an actor that works like Harrison Ford and talks like Harrison Ford, then you could pretty much have like a deep age, like young, 60 year old Indiana Jones. And we talk about the story of how Mutt died and something like that. That maybe could be a possible, but, but yeah. But that way, we are right now 42 minutes of the video right now. Let's talk about 43 minutes of the video right now. Let's now talk about, um, okay, let's talk about Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse right now. Yeah, Across the Spider-Verse is doing a crazy, it's doing crazy right now at the box office right now. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse is right now at 675.4 million dollars at the box office, which I'm like, Across the Spider Force just got our digital. And if you look it up, uh, if you look this up on 4K, you can pretty much say that right now, the time we recorded this video, Spider Man Across the Spider Force is not going to be our div like. Let's just get across the spider first. It's not gonna be on DVD until September 5th, 2023. Yeah, until September 5th, 2023. And if I look it up on Google, and if I look it up like this, um, and if you guys don't know, guys, this movie has officially been, been uh, if I remember clearly, I'm going to go to Prime Video. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. 
not. It's not yet digital yet. Wait. Oh, I forgot. Wait. Give me it. Okay, it would be a ditch though. The same day when Fast X gets its physical release date. So, if you want to watch a ditch though, it's gonna be on August 8th. So, yeah, so that's pretty much it, but yeah. But yeah. But Spider Man Across the Spider Verse has, like, Across the Spider Verse, Across the Spider Verse does has two months left, uh, two weeks left to make big. Bucks. And if and if Across the Spider Verse can make over seven hundred million dollars, wait, just a second. Wait a minute. How many dollars did uh, Spider Man Up One made from Tobey Maguire made? Two hundred eighty-five million dollars. But that's how we talk about. So, okay. The next film that Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse has to pass is Spider-Man 2 uh, with Tobey Maguire, which is right now at 789 million dollars, which is not going to pass that. No way Jose is going to pass that, but my prediction is, if it does really good the next two weeks, Across the Spider-Verse is probably going to pass uh, the number of uh, over 700 million dollars. Across the Spider Verse is doing an amazing job at the box office right now. And with it be a uh, digital. Again. Again. Just like I said before, guys. Across the Spider Verse is not going to be on. So. That is okay. Spider Man Across the Spider Verse is not going to make it. It's not going to make it on digital until the until August eighth. It's not going to be a dig It's not going to be on physical until September fifth, twenty twenty three. And I think this movie is going to be on stars. It might be on stars in September. Probably sometime at the end of September to the beginning of October. So, yeah. But it's really exciting to hear that Across the Spider-Verse is doing amazing right now, even if they put that bad stuff in it, like Jen's kids, uh, and put, uh, uh, Black Men Matters, uh, Black, Black Lives Matter. Yeah. Black, like, Black Lives Matter, that's not good. Jen's kids, uh, Actually, comic means that a boy can pretend to be a girl, and a girl can pretend to be a boy. Guys, God made us to be who we are right now. God made us who we are. We should not care about those trans kids, those trans people. We should not talk about that. We should stay what we are right now, being men and women. We should stay as what God made us. When our, when our parents got us, we had to be, when our parents, when our parents, when our parents got, got us, uh, we supposed to be just like the, the gender, the gender of your life. I'm a man. You, if you're watching this video right now, you might be a man or you might be a woman. Or if you're... If you are a woman, if you're a girl watching this video right now, you are a woman. If you, if there's a boy watching this video right now, you are a man. I'm a boy, I'm a man. I do not want to change my gender to be a girl. And I don't really want a girl to change gender to a boy. So, yeah. That's right there is right there, but yeah. But, that's why I'm not supporting Sony. That's why I never want... That's why I'm not watching Across the Spider-Verse and Fear Dose because Sony's not having my money. I'm just going to wait until it gets on streaming like Netflix or something like that. Something like that. I don't really know about it. I might buy it on DVD Blu-ray. 
somewhere between them. I don't really know, but yeah. But that would be it for Across the Spider Verse, so yeah. Okay, let's get this one. Let's, let's get this next one out of the way. Elemental. Let's talk about Elemental next. Next, sorry, sorry. Now, if you haven't heard about the hype train going on right now, Elemental is right now at 358.4 million dollars right now at the box office with, right now, which uh, Elemental make it almost cost 360 million dollars is a good idea, is, is good. Let's quickly check the box office merger for this one first up. See if, I, if I'm correct with this. It might have already changed. Which it did. Elemental, so pretty much Elemental is right now at $360 million right now. And guess what? We don't know when Elemental could be on DVD or digital or on Disney Plus and all of that. It might, it will 100% be on digital next month, but I'm really hoping it is like the middle of next month. I just feel like Elemento still has potential to make a lot more money. I still predicted that Elemento still has the potential to make more money at the box office. If, uh, yeah, so my prediction I have is what, what Disney Pixar should do with Elemento being a Release up being like the first Pixar movie in like a year since the tragic of light year, only making like what over 220 million dollars. Elemental is making the double, like Elemental is making double, of, almost goes double of what the uh, light year did. And yeah, so again, I haven't seen Elemental yet. I'm still waiting for it to get on Disney Plus. I'm still waiting for it to get on Disney Plus. Something like that. But yeah, but what am I really excited for for Elemento? For me, I'm really hoping because if Elemento still has legs and it still makes over $20 million for the next two weeks, if it makes an extra $20 million for the next two weeks, Elemento. That is okay. Yep. That is okay. If Elemento makes an extra forty million dollars in the next two weeks, Elemento will pretty much be a four hundred million dollars in the next two weeks. Which is absolutely, absolutely Elemento is gonna make over four hundred million dollars. I don't know how. I feel like look at Look at the Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid is right now at five hundred sixty put six million dollars right now. Look at that and look at Pixar. Pixar is still way down there to the three hundred million bulk. How would how would Elemental make a lot more money if we don't know how much money Elemental is gonna make in the next few weeks? How would we make Elemental make more money? And how could we make it that Pixar will come back? If you haven't seen Elemental yet, go watch it with your family in theaters. Go take like five, seven, and like eight members of your family. Bring your uncle, bring your aunt. If your uncle aunt loves a love story, there you go. If you love a story about romance and something like that, Elemental is a film for you. Take your father, take your mother, take your brother or sister. Also, maybe take your grandparents, bring your uncle and aunts, bring your cousins, bring like the whole entire family, and pay for the movie to help this movie make a lot more money. My prediction is this film would probably pass over four hundred twenty million dollars. Now I don't know when it's gonna be on digital because nobody on the internet has talked about it. Disney hasn't given us an official release date yet. But if Elemental does make a lot of money in the next few weeks, if Elemental makes a lot of money in the next few weeks, I bet you that Elemental will be on digital next month. 
I bet you it could be a digital next month. Or maybe just maybe it might. Maybe if I think it might be digital, this will premiere in the metro at the end of August. So that means if you think about the end of August, you have uh, one, two, three, four, five more weeks in theaters. And then, and then on August 29th, uh, and then on August 29th or August 30th, it's going to be on digital, digital. And then they're going to release it on Disney Plus in, uh, they're going to release it on Disney Plus in September, as well as the DVD Blu-ray in Ultra HD, uh, as well in August, in September. That's a good idea, and I think that's a good idea. But it's okay, again, if... Again, if Intermetro is at that number right now, plus, let's say this out, okay, okay? Um, it makes $40 million for two weeks. Click that, that would be $398.4 million. And then it maybe makes, I don't know, like um, $70 million. That'd be $450 million. And we end it off with like $50 million. That means that Intermetro will pass Jets from us Rise the Beast uh, and it makes it itself uh, and it makes itself uh, and that means it that means in the metro will be at uh, the number the uh, the number if it passes Jets from us Rise the Beast it will be at the number seven it will be at the number seven spot. Might be at the number 8 or 9, I don't really know, but at the same time, Elemental needs legs because Elemental, because if Pixel is trying to bring back uh, their movies, all Disney and Pixel, they have to do that. And all I can say about that is Pixar really needs to bring back more sequels, just like they do with Inside uh, Inside Out 2 and Toy Story 5. I think what they should give us is a Cars 4, an Incredibles 3, a potential Wally 2. Come on. Wally deserves a sequel. Wally is a perfect movie, in my opinion. And I was waiting for a sequel for a long time. Bring back Andrew Station, the director who directed Finding Nemo, Wally, and Finding Dory. Give us like a Finding Nemo 3. Give us like Finding Nemo 3. Or something like that. Give us like something like Ratatouille 2. Or Up 2. Well, I don't think they're going to well, give us an Up 2 because the actor who plays... Uh... The actor who plays... Oh, who was his name? Carlo. Carlo... The actor who plays Carlo in Up passed away this year, so they're not going to do that. Um, Brave 2, eh. Monsters Incorporated 3! Well, they already have Monsters at Work, and wait, Monsters at Work uh, Season 2 is still slated, still slated to come out this year. Why haven't Disney and Pixar never given us a trailer at Season 2? It still will be coming out this year, but I don't know if it's still going to be coming out this year or not. I don't really know, but yeah. But Elemental really needs to make a profit. And it needs to make a lot of money that Pixar slowly goes back up to like the billion dollar mark. Like Toy Story 5. Toy Story 5 will maybe by far make a billion dollars because Toy Story 3, Toy Story 4 did. And the Toy Story 5 is going to make a billion dollars. I don't know, but in general, if Disney's bring back these original movies that did have sequels, like I said, give us an Incredibles 3. Give us a Cars 4. Give us like, give us like a Ratatouille 2. A Wally 2. Oh. Um, Coco 2. Something like that. I don't really know, but it picks out because Bob Igo is back 
and he is going to be back. And of course, there's still some more movies coming out. There could be a possibility that each year, there's one year, like this year, is a new original movie, which is Elemental. Next year, we get an original movie, we get a new original, original movie, and a sequel to the old movie, which is, of course, Elmo, 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 don't remember, I don't remember what it is, and Inside Out 2. And then 2025 will be in a witch the film. I was thinking Toy Story 5 to come out in 2025, but Toy Story 5 will not come out until that next year. So I think in my prediction, 2025 will be a new original Pixar film. And in 2026, in March, we're going to get a new original film, and we're going to get a new, and we're going to get Toy Story 4, Toy Story 5. 2027 is going to be an original film. 2028 could possibly be a new original movie and a Pixar sequel, which is Cars 4. We have been here all over the internet that Cars 4 is still can happen. Bob Iger announced Toy Story 5, so Bob Iger can announce it. Also, I have heard a rumor say that uh, uh, Disney will be bought by Apple. I have been hearing that some, I have been hearing 2027 when Bob Iger is all done to sell the company to uh, Apple. And I feel what they should probably do is split up the MCU a bit more. I don't think they should do that. I think they should keep uh, Pixar, Marvel, they should keep uh, Disney Animation, Pixar, Marvel, and uh, Star Wars uh, Disney, from Disney. Like, look at this, guys, okay? Like, remove this from Disney+. Plus. Like, remove this from Disney+. Plus. Like, remove all of this. Uh, I know there's some of Disney+. Plus. I know just like, it says Disney+, Plus original on Summer Dub. And all of that stuff. But, what are you doing with these here? Silver National Geographic here. Geographic key to like someone like Universal, Warner Brothers, or something like that. That's why Disney is losing a lot of content. I have heard a rumor. I have heard a rumor. Go. I have heard a rumor going around saying that uh, Marvel Studios projects at Disney Plus that Disney Plus Marvel Studios content like a. Uh, Marvel Studios' Disney Plus projects might be removed on Disney Plus uh, to make more money. There might be possibility they might do that. That means that they have to do physical versions of those shows. Which I would love a 4K edition of WandaVision, or a 4K edition of Loki, or a 4K edition of Secret Invasion. A lot of the stuff. I don't really know. But Elemental Pixel really needs to come back. I feel like there's a possibility that Disney could bring back Pixar in a good way. We cause four, Toy Story 5, Inside Out 2, Incredibles 3 in the year 2032. We had to wait for that, but that. Maybe Wally 2. I really want a Wally 2 in a Wally 2 2 2 right now. If Brad Bird could come back, that would be amazing. But yeah. And that would be it for Elemental. My prediction is it would probably pass. Four hundred million dollars by its next weekend. Probably close. I think it's gonna probably pass like around uh, three hundred eighty, around three hundred eighty million dollars on its on this next weekend. Because we don't have another, we don't have an extra big film. Because the next big film coming out this week is uh, the next film coming out this week. The next film is of course Hunted Mansion, and the next week we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Mutima, Mutima, Mutant, Mayhem, and Meg 2 from Warner Brothers. And all that. And then, like, two weeks later, we got Blue Beetle, which reportedly is not going to make a lot of money. Reportedly. So, yeah, I've heard some people saying 12 million to 17 million dollars on its first weekend. And there might be possibility that Blue Beetle might only make around 80 to 90 million dollars. Yeah, 
Blue Beetle should stay on Max. Be a Max film. It was supposed to be a original. It was supposed to be like HBO Max original film. So yeah. I want to talk. I want to stop talking about Animato, and now let's head to Bobby. Let's hit the Bobby now. Bobby has a big weekend. Like Bobby did have a huge weekend on this first weekend. Bobby made three hundred eighty-two point three million dollars on its first weekend, close to four hundred freaking million dollars. Yeah, three hundred almost close four hundred million freaking dollars right now. Bobby is on a roll right now at the box office right now, and it's right at the number nine spot right now at the box office. Oh my goodness, Bobby might be the next billion dollar movie, folks. Bobby is going to be the next billion dollar movie, folks. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. <laughs> and there's not really any other big films coming out. I don't know how much Hunter Mitch is going to make. If Hunter Mitch can make almost get the same amount of money as like the life action that the Tomo made did. Then by far, yeah. I get a of some amazing bits about the, uh, this new Bobby movie. I hope you hear it. A lot of amazing fans say that Margot Robbie does a, did an amazing job and Ryan, and Ryan Gosling also does a great job as well. But yeah, I'm just saying that this Bobby movie is doing so crazy right now that I have no idea how to say it in a good way. I don't know how you say it in a good way that I think maybe if the Barbie movie does very well in the next few, the next few weeks, Warner Brothers could be like, hey, why don't we just pop this on digital in like three weeks, three to four weeks, have like a small little bit of time in theaters. Because if this film makes like, I don't know, like a billion dollars in like four days, that would be the number one universe Warner Brothers movie, which I don't think is going to make a billion dollars, but if the Barbie movie makes close to a billion dollars, like, if it ends up with over 700 to 800 million dollars, sign me up, I have some great fans about the Barbie movie, I might take the Barbie movie out one of these days, so yeah. Oh, right, that's episode, see ya guys. And that's all we're going to talk about today. I'm sorry, guys, the Elemento talk has been talked about a lot. I was just talking about Elemento a bit and how Pixar can bring back the money and bring back the, its viewers. And my prediction was is to release old movies that released in the past uh, get sequels like Ratatouille 2, Wally 2, Coco 2, Incredibles 3, Cars 4, like all the... Finding Nemo 3, all these other movies that is gonna release the soon. Uh, so, yeah. so, I hope you guys are all excited. I will do another box office update video on August 1st next week. And I'm gonna give you guys an update on over these movies. I think the Super Mario Bros. movie in God of 3 might be taken off uh, next week. I don't know, I think I might keep them. Uh, the reason why I keep Mario on this because I'm a huge fan of Mario, and I love the Mario movie so much. I wish I could have run. I watched it twice in the theater. I wish I could. I wish I I wish I watched it watched it the third time. I kind of go way wanted to see the Mario movie five times in the theater. I wanted to see it two times, and then the third time was on a Blu-ray. So yeah, hold this up. So yeah, but the Super Mario Bros. movie is doing amazing right now. Amazing. God of Us 3 is doing amazing, the Ninja Mermaid is doing amazing, Across the Spider Force is doing amazing, Rise the Beast is doing amazing, The Flash, do poorly but doing a good job, but doing an okay job. Elemental, Elemental is doing a really good job at the box office right now. Indiana Jones and the Die of Destiny, it's doing good. It's not very good as like uh, Elemental. Mission Impossible Dead Record Part 1 is doing really amazing right now. The Barbie movie is doing fantastic right now. Oppenheimer is not doing good, but Oppenheimer is still doing amazing because it's just the first weekend. So yeah. So yeah guys, I hope you guys do enjoy this box office video. If you guys have, 
Make sure you guys go down below, hit that like button down below for more uh, daily updates of the box office every Tuesday. To, so yeah, hit that like button down below to never, you know, so yeah. Let's try to hit this video to five likes if we can do that, that would be amazing. Also, if this is your first time, guys, if this is your guys' first time here, then click that subscribe button down below for more box office videos every single Tuesday. If I could get it out every Tuesday, but yeah. But every Tuesday, I never box up this video every Tuesday, so yeah. And if you guys can help me out, I'm trying to get this channel to 2,500 subscribers. That's my milestone on this channel, so if you guys can help me out, that would be amazing. Also, hit that notification bell to never miss when I upload a video. I was about to, I was about to do a, I, I, I was about to change this into a live streamer, but uh, instead, Full art video, no 60 frames per second, just a full art video in 4K, all of that stuff. So, all of that stuff is easy, yeah. But, yeah, guys, click that subscribe button to help me out. Hit that notification bell to never miss when I upload a video. Also, share this video with your friends and your family. Share this, okay, so share this video with your friends and the family. And make sure you guys go down below and go subscribe to my two other channels. I need your help on my main channel. I need your help on my main channel. I, I mean, I mean, I need your guys' help on my gaming channel slash my reaction channel. At the same time, if you guys don't know, guys, I'm taking a two-week break from gaming on that channel to give you guys updates of trailers, movie trailers that just came out to give you guys reaction to it. I want to tell you guys there is eight reactions about to come out. The first two just came out. Uh, the Marvel's official trailer came out yesterday, and today, on Monday, the Marvel's official trailer came out on Monday. And today, the time I recorded this video, and today, right now, well, if you're watching this on Wednesday, I don't even know, it's right now at pretty much, uh, my, uh, Blue Beetle final trailer, so yeah. No, no, but yeah, but yeah, guys, so, yeah, and then, yeah, uh, I will give you guys a reaction video tomorrow, on Wednesday, Thursday, stay tuned for Thursday, Friday, there will be a lot of those two days, so, stay tuned for those next two days, those next three days, so yeah, or is this a yeah? And go help my main, go help my game, help my second channel out, guys. Uh, I'm trying, my milestone on that channel is 500 subscribers by the end of the summer. So, go subscribe to my gaming channel. I'll put a link in the description down below. I will promise you this, I will put a community post for you guys to, uh, to keep you guys reminded. I will give you guys a, I will give you guys that for reminders. I will give you guys a reminder in the community post down below in the description that in the, my creator poster my um my post when I upload my post on YouTube all of that would be tomorrow all of that I would remember I would remember to put that one on there and you guys can see my link in the second link in the description down below you guys can see it yourself second link and all of that stuff so yeah second link in the description would be with my gaming slash reaction video slash ranking video channel. Just whatever I do channel, actually. On that channel right there. Helping get to 500 subscribers by the end of the summer. And I want you guys to do the same thing with my Christian channel. My milestone on my Christian channel is 500 subscribers by the end of the summer. And if you guys want to, guys, if you guys are a Christian like me, and if you believe in God, and you believe in Jesus Christ our Lord, then go subscribe to my Christian channel. I'm right now in the book of Acts right now. Well, I haven't uploaded the book of Acts yet, but I think right now the time I recorded this video, I haven't yet recorded yet. But probably Wednesday, if you guys watch this on Wednesday, I will give you guys, I will get that recorded for you guys and get you guys ready and all of that stuff. So yeah. Oh, this is up, so yeah. So both of those channels will be down below in the description down below. 
as well as by, so yeah guys, so both of those trailers, my gaming trailer and my crystal trailer, again, help me hit those both trailers to 500 subscribers by the end of the summer. Go help it out guys. And all this up, so yeah. So yeah guys, so yeah. Don't forget to go and show you guys. Stay tuned guys for August, stay tuned guys for August 1st. I will give you guys the next box office video for the update. I might remove, I don't really know, but yeah, by the way, I'll give you guys an update next Tuesday. Don't forget to go down below, click that subscribe button to join the Ninja Nation Army. And stick around, go check, go check out more of my other videos, and I will see my movie friends next time. Peace.